Hello people, welcome back to follow that. So we are playing the contract DLC and this is a good little mission, data recovery. So it's definitely worth topping up with your armor. Easy if you've enabled uh, this guy as part of your agency, if not ammunition. So let's go, data recovery. Now, the reason I already enjoyed this mission was there's lots of ways to mess it up and regular viewers of the channel will know that that is a pet hobby of mine, messing up me. missions. So, let's go. Now then, I tried a lot of different ways on this and I've restarted it multiple times to try and find the best way. And obviously here you've got a clue. So you've got the, well, infiltration gear, parachute, that's the key, sticky bombs. Okay, so we'll be using all of those. Now, the way that the game suggests is that you use this helicopter on your roof, and I tried that a few times, but in climbing up there, you have to engage with the buzzards, and there's a much easier way to do it, as long as you've got, yeah, yet again, the sparrow makes such a big difference from the Kaiprika high. So, in fact, I'm just going to get rid of this stupid helicopter. It's got no weapons, and it's just annoying. Okay. So let's go. I'm going to try a different way for this. I'm going to use the parachute and let's get on to that in a minute. Now you don't need to wait for the whole dialogue to go through. You just need to stand on the right part. There we go. Look at that. Otherwise you have to wait for the yellow marker to appear. But you don't even need to do that. So let's go. We are now inside and we've got to go and find the communications room. So it's worth having your ammo topped up as well as that body armor because you can take some punishment from the FIB guys in there so let's just check that we are good ammo I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go all out RPG uh, you could do this a lot more subtly and with precision but anyway this is the communications room here it doesn't move at the different times that you come back here we go so it suggests that you need to do this quietly but there is no way you've been given this the sticky bombs and I've tried a few of the different types of explosive but anyway, it wants you to to trigger the explosion and then get all the FIB guys on top of you so anyway and it's not a big deal if you do this you don't actually need to engage with most of them so if you stand outside you will get a lot of them and end up in a big battle and it's easy to end up in a big fight that if you're not great at shooting I'm not I'm not that great to be honest how long have I played this game a long time but I'm not that great you can instead and that is a glitch on that it's supposed to be showing the inside view but I think I went through the glass too quickly so the game's got a bit confusing you just see the cops outside we go what we're we looking for though are the red circles of the FIB guys right so you can go out and engage them and there's plenty of points of cover there and it's not amongst Compared to the Los Santos Chinos, it's a lot easier. But still, all you can do is you can just wait in here. Oh, look at that. I've got the... Yeah, I've got the four stars flashing because the game thinks that I'm outside but hiding inside. Anyway, lovely glitches with the new missions. There we go. So you just... Oh, how did I miss him? You just have to wait for them to come past and you're kind of in safety here. And the odd guy might get to you maybe maybe shoot through there but even with my terrible shooting skill you generally could get all of them only thing to watch out for is to if you go obviously go too far left you end up blowing yourself up <laughs> yeah i have to admit i did do that in one of the first shots <laughs> it was a bit of a fail and like i say you could be out there battling but you just got to wait for them to come past and then you can just take them out because anyway, once, if you've destroyed all of them in the first one, a new batch come out later. There we go. So that's got them. Are there any more? I love the abuse that you get. The abuse, so the abuse scheme is consistent across all of the different law enforcement agencies and various baddies in the game. They seem to have a somewhat restricted vocabulary of insults for you. They're pretty consistent. Right got any more on that the annoying thing is because I've got that glitch with that view I can't see the red dot oh there you go there's a red dot so there's someone up there and is he gonna move he's about to move there we go got him 
I wonder if those four stars will disappear, which is very weird. Anyway, normally that doesn't happen. This is just a bit of a glitch for some reason that's happened. Right, wait for the software. There we go. Software is installed and I haven't I've hardly taken any punishment at all. Okay, right. So now the next bit, the server. Now either that, um, oh no, I lost concentration. Oh dear. That was too close. Right, either it spawns right there behind you, but sometimes if you're repeating the mission, it spawns on the other side, over to the right. There you go. Normally with a map, it's nice and easy, so I'll just top up my, my armor there. Keep them healthy. So normally is there, but this time it's over here. Anyway, move the hard drive, and then this way, yeah, you have to engage with them sometime, but I think we'll be fine. And anyway, I, the one thing with these contract missions is you, Basically, even if you die, it's not like the Santos Tuners one, where they are really hard. Some of them, I think, depending how good you are, like, like I said. Some of them are really hard. At least on this one, you respawn back in the same area where you died. So you kind of just keep going until you get it, get it right, and it will restart the mission kind of halfway through. So, although you can do a bit of a fail, look at that, my health isn't great, so... <laughs> I should be taking cover on just standing there firing. Um, but anyway, we made it through. So, now we're about to head out to the roof. And like I say, originally I started going for that helicopter and then I realised that there's a smarter way of doing it, which means you don't have to take punishment for the buzz. So I'm just going to top up my health, which is cool. And then, right, just jump straight over. Because you've got these buzzards firing you will take a lot of punishment. And, oh, one to one. Oh, okay. I didn't end up with two parachutes. Oh, that was going to be an impressive fail. There we go. Anyway, so we've got those buzzers behind me, so I'm just going to parachute a little bit away from them. And then, the killer part, I'm going to get myself... There we are, Kasata. What we want is... Oh, I actually requested the Kasata. I don't want that here. No, we want the Sparrow. There we go. Right. So then we've got our sparrow nearby, and I notice while you're running around, you take a lot of punishment from those buzzards. So even if it you've, you've got it to spawn right next to you, it's worth just topping up. Is that my aim? Yeah, it's worth just topping up your armor because if I hadn't done that, I'd have been in trouble. And then that's kind of it. So you can hang around, and given I've got the buzzard, I could quite easily take out. Because I've got the buzzard, because I've got the sparrow, could quite easily take out those those buzzards. But all you have to do is just fly away, fly out to sea a little bit. There we go, and those four stars flash, and we're gone. Okay. Obviously, I cut a minute or so out of that. Um, but anyway, I just went out to sea. Pretty easy. Okay, and then we go back to the agency, and we're pretty much done on there. So, like I said, I like that machine. Right, it's gonna go, wait for the thing to come up. What? Oh man, that would have been such a good way to fail it. Normally you get the little thing that allows you to land, even if you're coming in really fast, but I don't know why it didn't trigger in that, in that one. Okay, and then we just get back inside. So I, I like that mission, because there's quite a few different ways that you can fail it, and you can be a little bit creative with how you tackle it so then we're back inside and we're good and then you just wait to get that message saying she's gonna hack into the hard drive and you have to wait a little bit to go into the next stage of the mission anyway hope that helped you out take care i'll speak to you soon